They call me Squirrel. It's Friday morning here in the USA. Thinking probably around 8 a.m. To me, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and right about now, everyone's saying, Yeah, not sure if that squirrel's showing up or not. 1 o'clock. But I usually don't show up to like 1 or 2 anyway, so it's cool, you know. But, anyways, here we are. It's uh, for Ronnie's Friday, so this story just got better. Anyways, I uh, wanted to say hello. I wanted to say good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're out watching. And I wanted to say that uh, today we're looking at uh, two Ronnies, Death in the Trenches. Kind of a fuzzy copy, but uh, it's, it, I, it's the best I could find. And uh, I've never heard this one, so eh, at least it's going to be something brand new again. Still chugging along on that trend. That's great. So here we go. If you're new here, hit the subscription, hit the subscription button. My tongue does that sometimes on subscription. I don't know why. It's weird. Anyways, here we go. Two Ronnies, deaf in the trenches. Now, a complete change of venue from the cosy drawing rooms of Southwest One to the drafty trenches of World War One. A pretty big leap. In this sketch, we are trying to convey an impression of just how awful things were at the front. And believe you me, they weren't all that much better at the back either. No. <laughs> we're cornered, Corporal. We should be lucky to get out of here alive. Probably later than that, sir. What? Probably later than five, sir. Near a half hour. <laughs> I said get out alive, not get out by five. Oh, sorry, sir. See his gun, sir. I, know. I can't hear, sir, with the gun, sir. Yes, are we, sir? Are we cut off from the other, sir? Yes, I'm afraid we are, Corporal. Yes, we can either lie low here until morning, or you can find a high vantage point and see if you can spot the enemy. What are you saying? Thank you, sir. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Oh, well, it's up to, up to you, sir. Yes. I think you'd better get up a tree and risk it. Oh, thank you, sir. I could just do with one. What? I could just do with a cup of tea and biscuits, sir. <laughs> a tree and risk it. Oh, oh, dear. Well, go on, make a start. A cup of tea and a biscuit sounds really good right now. Huh. Ask, make, make a tart. Make a start! I have to repeat every stupid little word. Well, there's no need to be personal, sir. What? Well, calling me that. I said stupid little word. Oh, sorry, sir. I thought you said something else, sir. Get on with it, Corporal. Sir, sir, I can't, I can't climb trees, sir. What? I can't climb trees. Never could. Ever since I was a small boy at Wimbledon, sir. You never tell me that, Corporal. What's that, sir? That you were a ball boy at oh, Wimbledon. <laughs> I was so close to getting that, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> and I've always loved tennis. Dennis the cook, sir. Tennis, man! <laughs> oh, never mind all that. Look, up on the ridge there's one of our tanks. You've got to go up and recapture it, right? Terribly careful. Yes, sir. The place is full of Jerry snipers. Yes, sir. Anywhere near a tank is a hot spot. Oh, I don't think we are, sir. What? Anywhere near a Lancashire hot pot, sir. <laughs> oh, Lancashire hot pot. I know we're not going to actually get to see this footage, but how amazing would it have been if we actually had, in this day and age, footage on YouTube to watch of Ronnie Corbett overtaking and capturing a tank by himself? Gold. <laughs> You're obsessed with food, Corporal. <laughs> sir, I, sir, I, I can't go, sir. Why not? My gun's gone wonky, sir. <laughs> well, it's nerves. I'm the same. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, sir, my gun, sir. Oh, your gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was in, it was in my pocket, sir, and it went off half cocked. <laughs> Terrible. You'll have to report to Matron when we get back to Casper. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll have to get myself, Corporal. Yes. All right, sir. Okay, then, where is? Yes. Oh, there. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 o
Go and get me pie and peas. I said, go and let me die in peace. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, don't worry about uh, it, Corporal. You're not such a bad chap. Thank you, sir. We haven't always seen eye to eye. Or ear to ear, for that matter. No, it's a gun, sir. <laughs> so listen, at least, at least if you get back alive, when I get up to heaven, they'll say, out of all this mess, you've saved an ordinary man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, say, say what, sir? An ordinary man. Yes, sir, I will. You will what? As soon as I get back to the mess, sir, I'll save you a strawberry plant. <laughs> Ronnie Corbett was super hungry. Let's see what these guys have to say to close out the show. Oh, oh terribly noisy. <laughs> I remember we were filming that sketch. Yes, our eardrums were ringing for days afterwards, mm. weren't they? Which is more than our agents ever did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Look at that. That's the, uh, the next one in line would have been uh, Four Candles. This is the, uh, it's the skit that started off for me right there. Right there, that snapshot. That's pretty crazy that that was the next thing. It's at 0. 0.00. It's the very beginning. I stopped it. Perfect. That's the that's what made me fall in love with these guys. It's so awesome. I hope you guys are having a great, great Friday. Did I call it Saturday? There's no way I called it Saturday. Right? I might have, but I don't think so. Anyways, it's Friday. It's four Arnie's Fridays, obviously, so... But uh, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. It's Labor Day here in America on Monday. Um, and uh, I got a cool video I'm going to put on the other side of uh, that. And, uh, yeah. But uh, I'll be back later today anyway. I mean, right? And I'm going to take uh, the theory, whatever, the drive theory test. I'm going to take that too soon. Pretty soon. And I'm going to do the Pocky One Chip Challenge. That might be tomorrow. I have no idea. I'm just going to pop on and do it. So watch me uh, burn myself up, you know. All right, I'm gonna uh, gonna rob your uncle and I don't know. They went out named Fanny. I don't know. Whatever. Hmm? Bob, my uncle. Yeah. I was trying to do the mixed up word thing. It didn't work out, obviously. I'm gonna rob the uncle. I'm not even sure. Anyways, Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. See ya. Mm-hmm.